Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview. Today I have the privilege to interview Calvin Joseph. Hi Calvin, how are you doing? I'm doing great, let's go. Let's go. And you are my first case of 2021. I wish all my uh, viewers uh, a great year. I hope they had a great uh, family time during the holidays and I hope they are safe. So Calvin, uh, you are recognized by INS Magazine on their top 30 entrepreneurs under 30 list, the same year as Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, and you have experience and a lot of connection along the way that will help anyone grow their company, attract customers instead of chasing them. And you spent the majority of your career advising, advising CEOs and went to help uh, to help anyone to fight uh, their fears and everything they want uh, to deserve. So can, can you tell us more about yourself and how you end up uh, being as the marketing influencer? Well, the reality is I'm just a regular guy, you know, mm -hmm. but, but the re people trust experts and you have to pick a specialty. And um, my specialty is actually sports marketing. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've done over $250 million in sports marketing deals, but I run a, a $50 million company on behalf of the Omnicom, the largest advertising and marketing company in the world. But my roots were, I started my career as a CPA. So mm -hmm. I never had like a traditional track. I'm the mm -hmm. first person in my family born in this country, first to go to college. So I'm just happy to be here. And I feel like I'm just warming up. Yeah. Thank you for being here. So my first question for you is, I recently saw that you posted on LinkedIn so, and, and I quote you, one of the business development tips for 2021 that you mentioned was establishing awareness, likability and trust by making friends before you need anything. Can you elaborate more about that and how can job seekers use that uh, tip in their job search? Yes. Job seekers obviously have a need. They yeah. need a job, yeah. right? So when I talk about making friends before you need anything, you might need some elaboration because you're like, I need something now, it's too late. I should have made friends before. But, but here's the reality. Uh, being a job seeker, you still have value. You're valuable. And if you come across as a desperate person, yes. people won't see your value. So if you say, hi, my name is Kelvin, I need a job. That's a turn off yeah. for everyone. Right. You know, it's almost like dating a little bit. <laughs> you, you don't want to be in a situation where you're going for the kill right away. Like, right. oh, do you know anyone who could give me a job? Do you have a job? I need a job. I, no. When you're building awareness, likability, and trust, it's like, do you have an expertise? Mm -hmm. can, you, can you post content, possibly on LinkedIn, about what you actually know how to do. Let's say you're in marketing or you're in, um, uh, I don't know, if you are, are someone that is creative or a graphic artist, or yeah. can you share your passion with mm -hmm. the world, right? But at the end of the day, it is important to make connections and meet people. So it might be something where you are starting to make yourself known to different people, but at the end of the day, you're not pushy asking, oh, you don't have to let me know the moment I meet you that you need a job. You might let me know that later. I might figure that out later. But that should not be one of the first things that you say. One of the things that I made a big mistake with, and job seekers need to be careful with this as well, is that when I was building relationships when I was younger, I only wanted to build relationships with the CEOs of companies, directors, VPs, the people at the top, right? Yes. And that makes sense. But like 15, 20 years later, those people are retired. Now the people my age that I overlooked are yes. running the world, right? People in their mid forties, people in their fifties, they're running everything now. Correct. But like, so when you're networking, someone at your level is probably more able to help you find a job at your level. When you're only shooting for the CEO of the company, they probably don't even know about uh, how to help you find a position, um, you know, lower down in the organization per se. Right. So, so a lot of people that are considered job seekers are younger in their career. Mm -hmm. People who are more seasoned in their careers 
shouldn't view themselves as a job seeker. They should view themselves as in co career transition, mm -hmm. and they should definitely be a little bit more sophisticated on how they maneuver in that in that space. Yeah. Thank you for that elaboration, Calvin. I'm sure the viewers and the listeners will benefit from that. And I agree with you. It's building relationship before asking for a job. And for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Calvin a couple of questions and it will be posted uh, during, next, uh, during the week. So it will be like a journey. You can watch any of the videos, all of them. If you like them, please like and share. If you have any comments, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for another great question with Calvin.